what is up you guys it's arius welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome to the arius family we hope you feel right at home and that um you like it here today we are going to be talking about kenya and a very 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 inconsiderate community and i only felt that it was a fitting that my pick up. Damn! I literally got this for a birthday gift. Are you seeing the size of this thing? It's literally the size of my head. <laughs> but I like it so yeah. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about where to buy art supplies in Kenya. And trust me it's not an easy thing. Ask anybody who lives in Kenya and has tried to get art supplies. It is a pain to get up to fights because they're not getting the real thing you're not getting something good is you're getting something that's just not what you want and so i'm going to be talking about the three shops that i've had experience with keyword i've had experience with so to start off i'm going to say this in no particular order i'm not ranking them i'm just going to tell you which which is the most um the one i most recommend and just generally that just so to start off we're gonna start with the one the only most famous textbook center oh god this is a giant and a half but what can i say textbook center was the ish thing i'm telling you textbook center is everywhere they have 10 branches in total and how do i say it they have almost everything have almost everything so textbook center has 10 branches and of course every company has a main branch but their main branch is the only branch that's fully stocked i live next to one of their branches and when i go there i'm always referred to a branch that's farther away when i get there i'm referred to another branch which is farther away from the branch that's farther away from my house and then in the end i'm told to go to headquarters which happens to be in westlands and i freaking live in karen my problem with textbook center is that despite them having 10 branches they're very understocked in all the other branches altogether and i don't like that about them but it's not that i'm shaming them it's just damn like and yes there is the online store but i mean it's the online store you're not going to be able to see what you want you're not going to be able to feel like I said again, it's not that I'm shaming. I still buy stuff from Textbook Center. They're a good place. It's just if you're looking for all your supplies in one sitting, I would suggest you just head straight to headquarters and you just go there, get it over with, and rather be sent topsy turvy or being told, oh, we have to wait for it to come from headquarters. In terms of price, it's it's little on the middle it's the middleman it's more like it's not too pricey it's not too um cheap it's like in the in between i'd highly recommend textbook center but please go there knowing that you might walk in and you might bounce and be told to go into headquarters or you might be sent around across the whole 10 branches it entirely depends so the second place to get stuff for art would be office mart I know, I know, Office Mart. Wait, what, what, what? It's Office Mart? And I'm like, yes, Office Mart. They have 13 branches, including the online part. Uh, I've never been on the online one. Um, I've never ordered anything from it. If you have, do let me know what your experience was. I've only walked into Office Mart, and um, the only thing I bought was a file. If you're looking for something to store your work, you can go to Office Mart. They have <laughs> files the size of a3 i was shocked when i walked in there and i got this and i was like oh okay okay they also have paints and stuff and the thing about office man is they have unique stuff so when you go there you're gonna get colors that you'd not most probably get if you went to textbook center just um don't go there in a big fantasy that you're gonna get everything it is office smart for a reason in terms of stationery they have a good variety of pencils if i remember so much in terms of um price it is the cheapest i bought spray paint for 250 in office smart and i paid 500 in tbc's i still have the spray paint can i bought from them and it's really nice i really like it and that's that now the last and final one i would say is science scope and science scope is like over here like guys if you want to go somewhere that just is the heart of everything go to science scope 
Um, one limitation of Scienceco though is that they only have one branch, and that one branch kind of has everything, and they have high quality art supplies. Right? If you're looking for find those big brands that everybody's talking about science Corp is a place to go they have everything from charcoal pencils to to the hardcover sketch pads to the a2 or even a1 actually a1 sized paper for those people who are doing exams and they're just starting right now don't struggle going to textbook center for the hard things if you're looking for embossed paper and you're looking for a1 embossed paper head to science scope just head to science scope don't even think about it just head to science scope trust me it is worth it getting there and going to science scope i vouch for that they even have palette knives guys palette knives do you know how do you just find palette knives and they have good ones too and in terms of price yes they're bloody expensive but would you expect branded things to cost because you walk in and you walk out rather than going to amazon ordering something having to wait a month because even ordering something in kenya is another stress altogether so i would highly recommend it for everything especially stuff to do with mounting i know the struggles i used to go through before i started going to science scope finding embossed paper that was bigger than a3 this was that it doesn't have anything bigger than a4 if you are doing exams and you're in class of 2021 and you've been struggling to find art supplies go to science go go to textbook center and then you can go to office mart if you want something like put your studies in them and do all that i hope this video has been helpful to you guys i know it's helped me a lot i feel like i've really compacted my knowledge to others so take care you guys don't forget to like subscribe comment Hit that notification bell so you don't miss next week's video. And I'll see y'all later.